Hi, my name is Alfonso Lopez, and I'm the CEO of 305 Broadcast. Yes, yes, I know I have an accent, but I've been selling equipment and designing studio and transmitter sites for the last 25 years. I hope you enjoy today's video. Uh, what are the challenges to date in audio processing with all these um, uh, codex algorithms? And um, what, what else do we have as a challenge to date in the broadcast industry uh, for audio processing? Or have we done the whole job? Is, is the job complete for audio processing or there's more to do? Um, I think that you can never uh, fully anticipate the future. And, you know, new ideas are always going to occur to people who are uh, heavily into the field. I think the field has gotten reasonably mature. Uh, the audio processors of today are well matched to the transmission channels, whether it's AM, FM, or uh, streaming today. Uh, where you have these low bit rate codecs, the peak limiter requirements are quite different for the uh, codecs than they are for analog AM and FM. Uh, but uh, these are these are mostly solved issues, um, particularly here at Orban. One of, one of the uh, big challenges in audio processing is to have the processor equal uh, equally uh, competent uh, with both speech and music. And uh, some of the Orbana competition uh, to this day has uh, trouble with uh, speech when you uh, adjust it to be optimal on music. Uh, but we have always uh, basically weighted the importance of clean speech as being equal to music and have concentrated our R&D on uh, both aspects. So. Orban processors uh, adapt very well to the program material that they are encountering. Uh, and in addition, we have a speech music detector in all of the modern Orban processors. But this is uh, sort of a, a secondary feature because the uh, processing is sophisticated enough to handle speech and music uh, really without needing the speech music detector. Uh, one way that it does this is with our uh, MX limiter technology. Uh, this uses a psychoacoustic model uh, of the uh, distortion produced by the peak limiter. Uh, in a certain sense, it's uh, quite diff uh, similar to a uh, codec, like an MP3 codec, that uh, senses the uh, amount of distortion. In, that, in the case of MP3, it's caused by the... Uh, throwing away a lot of the uh, audio information. And in the case of the MX limiter, it's caused by the peak limiting processor. Remember, my name is Alfonso Lopez from TO5 Broadcast. And please call me, message me, WhatsApp me. I'm here to help.